it's Presley at ActiveGames.com here, and today we're going to be doing the year according to Instagram tag. So we were tagged by Breely TV to do this tag that she made, where you go through your Instagram and you download photos that you think represent your, your year the best. So we're going to be doing 2015. There'll be a link in the description to the original video. You should go to her video and watch that so you can see hers as well. Um, without further ado, let's get started with mine. So the, at the very beginning of the year, we did a John Green impression and we did World History Crash Course and we even built a chalkboard for that purpose. And it took a long time building the set and stuff like that, but we actually finally did it and it was super duper awesome. And I want all of you guys to see that. If you haven't already, there's a link in, there's a link in the doobly-doo and on the end card. Watch it. And then I met Steve Spangler. And it was absolutely crazy because we've been getting Steve Spangler science kits for quite a while now. There's actually one back there. Um, but yeah, we've been getting them for quite a while. And I actually got to meet Steve and go to his like super cool, uh, what do you call it, a laboratory? I want to call it a lab. Just be a laboratory. Um, we went there and he had all sorts of really, really, really amazing things that I got to check out and just be there and see these super duper amazing things. And then I actually got to be on Nine News with him. I was on the news. Um, prior to that, my foot had been on the news. Okay, the story everyone wants me to tell, and everyone's really baffled when I say my foot was on the news. They did a thing on my Jiu-Jitsu Academy, and my foot was there. So, my foot was on the news prior to that. Just my foot. So I was actually on the news doing experiments with Steve Spangler, and it was, it was crazy. It was just crazy and really exciting, and I'm super glad that I got to have that opportunity. And then I built my fursuit. Um, so I do have my fursuit of Amber, and I got to go and test that out at Anime Land Wasabi. I got to go to Anime Land Wasabi in my suit and in lots of different cosplays. It was super duper fun, and I had a great time at Wasabi. So we do go to plenty of cons, but Wasabi was definitely really great this year. And then I went to Japan! <laughs> so yeah, that was super duper crazy. And considering we're about to go to London, and now we're going to, and that was when we went to Japan. So it was just absolutely crazy and that I got to go to Japan and experience all these really beautiful places um, in Japan. We went to Kyoto and Tokyo and we got to go to all sorts of places, rabbit cafes, and um, here is at one of the wonderful, really beautiful temples that we got to go to. And I'm just super, yet again, I'm super glad I had that experience. And then um, here's more stuff from Japan where we actually saw some geishas uh, taking selfies with a selfie stick. And then the Ghibli Museum. We can't, um, there, there are no pictures allowed and I don't want to spoil the Ghibli Museum if you guys ever want to go. But it was super crazy, super great, and it was just such a beautiful experience. It's so hard to say nothing about it, other, but it was great. And we got lots of super good stuff from the gift shop that we can actually show. Um, but we got super great stuff there and it was just such a wonderful experience. And then we got to go to Anime Land Japan, which was super duper crazy that I went to, I'm pretty sure it's like one of the biggest anime conventions in Tokyo, in Japan. One of the biggest anime conventions in Japan. Japan. I went there and I actually got to speak Japanese there, which was super duper crazy. And I just, it's such an insane experience in Japan. I, I want to go back really badly. <laughs> and then I went to TTPM in New York, and I'm going to so many amazing places, and you can meet amazing people like Kitty's Mama and Mommy and Gracie. And then also in New York, um, I was about to say I went to New York again. Nope, that was the same, same New York trip. I got to reenact some photos from Doctor Who, which was really, really cool because I'm a huge fan of Doctor Who, and it was really, really crazy to go and reenact these photos from the Angels Take Manhattan arc. And it was just like, ah, I'm in the same space. I'm, my feet are exactly where Matt Smith stood while playing the doctor. That was, whoa, that was just crazy. And then I got to go to Denver Comic Con and interview amazing people like Bonnie Barton. Um, we got to interview so many amazing people and I'm so glad that I got to interview them. And those interviews will also be in the doobly-doo so you can check those out. It was a really amazing experience to talk to these people. As well as Bonnie Burton, I got to interview Karen Gillen at Denver Comic Con, 
which was really really crazy because I was where she I was where she shot as Amy Pond where she shot some doctor who was Amy Pond and then I got to interview her interview Amelia Pond the actor Karen Gillan that played Amelia Pond it was absolutely crazy to interview her and talk to her and ugh, it's just yeah go watch my interviews be because these amazing I got to actually talk to these amazing people and it's crazy and then we went to not Chicago we went to Colorado Renaissance Fest which was also super duper amazing um we've started going every year now I think and it's just super cool to go and get funnel cakes which I'm and which I'm pretty sure we're not in the Renaissance as well as turkey legs and it's just a super amazing time because everything is like man powered like they have these really cool um i don't know what they're called but the little viking boats or boats so most of the time they're boats that go up and down and swing i have no idea what they're called but there's one that's completely powered by both the people in the ride and some of the people outside the ride and it's just a really amazing experience to go back there and you almost feel like you are in the renaissance except the funnel cake kind of gives it away and then we went to Los Angeles for VidCon, and we got to go to the beach, which was super duper cool because I had not been to the beach in years since then, and I love the beach. I want to go back to the beach, and I got to bodyboard and get seashells. I still have some seashells in my room, and ugh, I loved the beach, and I want to go back to the beach as soon as possible. And then um, I was on a panel at VidCon. That's just that's just crazy. I was at, on a panel up there, and I was talking about uh, I was on young, the Young Tubers panel, so I was talking about what it's like to be young on YouTube. It was also pretty funny because there were a bunch there were like a bunch of 16, 17 year olds up there, and then me, 10. I'm 10 years old, and and I was just sitting up there talking, and I just thought it was really funny because I do have I had opinions on a lot of things they talked about, and as soon as I talked about my opinion, the audience was just really freaked out for some reason like do you not think 10 year olds can have opinions and then i got to interview john green and many other really amazing people at vidcon like ali speed and ashley mardell as well so i got to interview these amazing people and talk to them and i go go watch my interviews of these people because they're cool people and you should listen to their answers because they're great and then i met dan and phil Yes, I met Dan and Phil. I never thought I would meet Dan and Phil, at least for a while, but I actually met them at VidCon. And let me just tell you, in case you hadn't gathered from their videos already, they're really, really tall. <laughs> they are really tall people, but they're still, like, they're really, really amazing. And, like, being there in person with Dan and Phil, I was just like, whoa. Dan and Phil are in front of me, and I am taking a picture with them. And it's, it's crazy. <laughs> and then um, Cooper got to meet Allie as well. And there's me and Cooper. And Allie was actually there with us. And like we were kind of and like taking pictures with us. And it was super duper amazing. Allie was such a nice person. And if you, ha if you aren't already subscribed to her, I can't imagine that you're subscribed to me and not already subscribed to Allie. But go check her out as well. And then I um, went to Salt Lake Comic Con. So I got to meet really amazing people like Felicia Day and the actress for Clara Oswald and John Barrowman who played Captain Jack and it was like super duper amazing that I got to meet these people. And I was Empty Child, um, it was it was pretty fun because I actually got to be the Empty Child with John Barrowman and I was, and uh, John Barrowman was in the episode with the person I was cosplaying. And then we went to NerdCon Stories, which I'm actually wearing the NerdCon Stories shirt right now. It's a comfortable shirt. Yes, it's a good shirt. The first Nerdcon stories ever, and I got to meet Holly Black, and um, Doll Bones was actually on my book club. Um, if you aren't already participating in the book club, participate in the book club. So, um, Mysteries of Code, Fires, and Invention book. Um, but we did Doll Bones for, I'm pretty sure we did Doll Bones for the second book in the book club, and it was super, super crazy to meet the author, as well as I recently got Valiant by her as well. And I read it and I absolutely loved it as well. So her writing is really, really great. And you should definitely check out her books. Um, Doll Bones is for younger kids. Well, Valiant's a little bit for more mature people. And then I have not read White Cat, but I read the beginning to it. And I think it's going to be really good. And then um, for Halloween, I went as Young Psychomantis from the new Metal Gear Solid. And Cooper was Batman. And we went on Halloween, and Halloween was, Halloween, I'm pretty sure Halloween, Halloween was definitely one of my favorite holidays. I was about to say all of my cons are my favorite holidays, but those aren't necessarily holidays. Um, but Halloween is definitely one of my favorite holidays, and we had a great time this Halloween. 
And then we went to LA again and we got to meet J Squared and Radio J H Audrey, which was super duper cool to meet them and they were really nice and that was where I was introduced to the Five Nights at Freddy's blind bags. And now I'm obsessed, I need to collect them all. And I need them to make more with the other characters because there aren't all like bagillion animatronics yet. Um, but yeah, in, they were super duper nice and we got to shoot videos together and I highly recommend that you go check them out if you have not already. And then we also went to LA because of a big women in STEAM conference, um, which if you don't know what STEAM is, STEAM is, it is science, technology, engineering, art, math. And I was also on a panel there, which was super duper cool. Like oh, I was on panels last year, like, actual panels. I was on the panels, not watching the panels. I was on them, which was absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, I w had an absolutely great time. I got to meet lots of super duper cool, amazing people um, that are both in the science and technology, engineering and math, as well as people that are in the arts. And it was just super duper cool to go and just hang out with everyone. And then I got to do a, a voice acting project for Ada Lovelace's 200th, 200th birthday. I can still do the voice. This is a story of how I met Ada Lovelace on her 200th birthday. I can still do it. As well as um, for my hangry impression, I can still do like, a nice video walk out of this video spouting off about three keto, two carboxy arabinitol. Lines like that just stick in my head, and it's great. But that was a super duper great experience. Um, my for my first voice acting experience, other than my really dumb voices for animations that I did a long time ago. Uh, but it was super duper crazy, and I'm really really glad that I got to do something um, for Ada Lovelace, who was the first computer programmer. Like a lot of you. Um, seen to probably credit. Most likely, you're probably crediting a man for starting computer technology, but. A. Lovelace wrote the first computer program in, program in like 1852, way back before computers existed. Um, I mean, there was a difference machine, but whatever, c kind of a computer existed. Um, and then she wrote a programs for what she thought computers could do in the future. She was the first programmer, and I'm super duper glad I got to do something honoring her on her 200th birthday. And then there was Christmas, we met Santa, we got super duper amazing things, hoverboards, hoverboards, dolls, stuffed animals, all sorts of really crazy amazing things. And it was just a great experience and I got lots of great stuff, which I'm really thankful for. And last but not least, we went to Skate the Lake, where every year we go and we skate on a frozen lake. As well as, I know this is kind of cheating because it was this year, but we jumped into that said frozen lake. Um, but on Skate the Lake is a super duper amazing experience and I got to go ice skating. I really need to actually go ice skating on a rink this year because that's really the only time I ice skate, usually in a year. But it was super duper fun to skate on the lake and watch the fireworks. Last year was a super crazy year and I got to do all sorts of really amazing stuff. And half of the amazing stuff I did isn't even on here. So it was just a, such an amazing year for me. And I'm really glad that I got to do all those things. So I was about to end the video, but before I end the video, um, I'm going to tag Mommy and Gracie and Radio JH Audrey. And I know she probably won't do this, but she probably won't see this video, but I tag Ashley Mardell to do this as well and go through, and I want th those people to go through their years in pictures and I want them to kind of talk about all the amazing things that happened in their year. Really tagged us, thank you for tagging us, I'm really glad that I got to go through and talk about all the amazing experiences of last year. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.